signed paintings. This mod allows you to render web images on signs and hanging signs, just copy in the link. You can tweak the size and positioning of the painting within the sign's UI and see the changes live. Enemy Expansion Enemy Expansion adds 5 new mobs in the latest update. Starved is an idle fossilized monster that remains dormant in the desert until it's disturbed. In the brief interim where it hasn't noticed you, you can seize the opportunity to steal whatever's inside its mouth by right-clicking. Just be sure to get running right afterwards, it's hungry. In their attempts to conquer not only the skies but also the oceans, the Illager faction engineered the Marauder, a shark-like creature that roams freely in deep ocean biomes, be careful should it spot you. Sputters are lazy little creatures that can be found dozing around striders in the nether. Unlike their tall-legged cousins, they are not mobile, they are not friendly, and only wish to turn you into a literal spit-roasted barbecue. Dragonflies are swamp-exclusive, giant frisky arthropods that can pack quite a punch if you let them get too close, so keep your guard up and swing when you have an opening. Replacing Vex summons, should you choose to enable hornets in the config, these creatures act as permanently hostile wasps. They will sting any nearby human or villager they can get their stingers on. The attacks of hornets are not poisonous, but they have high health. Epic Paragliders Epic Paragliders is a compact mod to add the Paragliders' stamina system to Epic Fight. The Epic Fight skills will work a bit differently in this mod, most have had their original behavior modified in order to properly integrate with Paraglider's stamina system. Attacks, both basic and simple special attacks now drain stamina based on the swing time of the item. Weapons with higher attack damage or slower swing speeds will drain more stamina. Guard Stamina is drained when guarding based on the player's weight, the impact of the blocked attack, and the penalty of consecutive blocks. The penalty for consecutive blocks has been toned down some in favor of overall higher block costs. Active Guard, similar to Guard, Active Guard is a type of guard that focuses on parrying attacks. Originally, if the player blocked right before an attack then they would have no stamina penalty, and if not then they would have the normal stamina penalty of guard. Now, if the player guards right before an attack 35% of the stamina will be drained, and if they just guard 35% extra stamina will be applied. Dodge. Stamina is drained based on player weight, so, heavier armors will drain more stamina. Stamina Pillager still gives the player roughly 30% of their missing stamina on killing an entity. This factors into stamina already being drained by actions, which means if an action is being performed when an entity is killed, then less stamina will be drained by the action if the stamina to return is less. If the stamina to return is higher than the stamina being drained, or if no stamina is being drained at all, then it will be clear that the player is gaining stamina from the skill by a section of the wheel representing the stamina to be returned turning blue. Technician skill doesn't completely negate stamina from dodging when dodging right before an enemy's attack. Instead, this reduces the dodge stamina consumption by 50%. Pumpkins Accelerated Pumpkins Accelerated adds new variations to carved pumpkins and adds soul jack-o'-lanterns as well. Different variations can be cycled through using shears. The different variations can then be used to create snow golems with more expressive faces. Auto Slabs Auto Slabs automatically generate vertical slabs for every instance of slab block, without adding a single new block.
Fisk's Superheroes Fisk's Superheroes adds a new vanity alt Bob Ross Deadpool in the latest update. Deadpool comes with two weapons, and you can switch between dual katanas and dual desert eagles at any time. The dual katanas have good damage and attack speed faster than a diamond sword. The dual desert eagle features a very impressive 3D model and animations. Additionally, Deadpool has a super healing ability. If the damage you take isn't enough to completely kill you, you'll fully recover after a few seconds. Modern UI Modern UI is a desktop application framework designed for standalone 2D and 3D rendering software development. It makes use of modern 3D graphical APIs and technologies to provide real-time rendering with high performance. This project is an official version that extends modern UI to Minecraft and Forge, it combines modern UI with Minecraft and provides a number of additional features and modding APIs. Modern UI can create fancier GUIs than vanillas with vector graphics, animations, text layout engine and multi-threading optimization, which is mainly used for other mods as a library. Additionally, by default, it provides some UI features and utilities, even for servers. This mod has good compatibility and is fully compatible with popular mods like Optifine, Iris, Create, and more. Shear Cows This mod adds functionality to shear the cow for its leather directly, similar to shearing a sheep for wool. The sheared cows will eventually eat grass to restore their skin, so you can shear them again. Dynamic Trim this mod dynamically render Minecraft's armor trims. The mod supports all the trims, also pairs well with better trim tooltips. Workshops of Doom. This mod adds additional Illager-themed structures. Underneath all structures, there are incredibly large mines, to explore them, minecarts are essential. <laughs> Yushia Modeling this mod makes some awesome refreshes to the concept of building in Minecraft by adding a series of tools executing move, rotate, resize, or even merge freely, just like what we always do in 3D modeling software. Some tools have multiple modes, and you can switch between them by holding them in your offhand. Apothic Attributes Apothic Attributes is a library mod that provides a variety of attributes and attribute-related utilities, which makes interacting with, debugging, and using attributes much easier. The mod provides an Attributes GUI, which shows all attributes that are attached to your player. You can filter the displayed attributes to only show modified attributes, and hovering an attribute will show a description and detailed information. Mob Loot Block This mod allows players to craft blocks that can change spawners to a specific mob type, spawn a specific mob, or get mob loot drops. Using a Curse of Essence binding enchanted weapon, the player can get mob bits with a specific mob's essence bound to it. 
Mob bits in a 3x3 pattern craft into mob pieces, and similarly, mob pieces make mob chunks, and mob chunks make mob loot blocks. While crouching, placing the block will instead spawn the respective mob, and right-clicking this block on a spawner will change the spawner to the respective mob. Currently, there are mob loot blocks for all vanilla mobs. Renner's End This mod adds ends that exist to cultivate and protect forests in the overworld. Seven variants will spawn based on the vanilla tree, and the ends will plant saplings and bone meal the ground on occasion. Ants are a neutral mob that will leave you alone unless you attack them, however they are protective of their forests. So stripping a log or breaking a log will make them hose till, and stripping a log will also yield bark which can be crafted into paper. At night, they stand completely still in hibernation, and you can also give an ant an apple to help reduce aggression. Punji. This mod adds a new use for bamboo, you can use it to create traps. Punji sticks are simply sharpened bamboo that deal damage and slowness to entities, you can place them around your house to prevent monster disturbances. Additionally, they can be placed in all directions and are super lovely for early mob killing. Untamed Wilds Untamed Wilds adds three new animals in the latest update. Added Wildebeest, with two variants, herding bovines to be found in savannas, which provide ambience. Added sawfish, with five variants, a large fish that can be found in shallow tropical oceans. Added terror birds, with five variants, they are the first bird of the mod, will nest and hunt by pecking and kicking. Finally, all mobs have good animations. Balls Cosmetic Alley this mod uses Curio's API to work, it adds new cosmetic for your player. Create Battle Shields. This mod adds iron, copper, zinc, gold, brass, diamond, and netherite shields to match the available armor sets from Create Stuff and Additions mod. Shields reflect a configurable percentage of damage based on their material. Through the lily pads, gently. With this mod, your boat will push lily pads aside instead of breaking them. It's actually what a boat in our world would do, plus the traveling experience is nicer. Clean Tooltips This mod overhauls the way enchantments get displayed in the tooltip. They now have their own enchant and subcategory, max level enchantments will be displayed in gold, color coding to easier tell apart good enchantments and curses, and curses are always ordered at the bottom of the list. Besides that, other parts got also improved, the color line on dyed items now actually shows the used color, and damaged items show their remaining durability in the tooltip. AFK Fish This mod will automatically reel in and recast your fishing rod when you catch a fish. Trade Uses This mod shows how many times you can use a trade before restock when you hover over one. The mod is only required on the client side, and it works in multiplayer. Wordy Little Chickens 
This mod makes chickens have the ability to lay prize eggs, each prize egg contains one to three letters. You can open up a crafting table and spell a word like Elytra. Centered Plants Centered Plants is a simple mod that can disable offsets and center plants. BN Blood Particles This mod adds blood particles, now when any creature hits, blood sprays will fly. Some mobs create their own particles, for example, zombies have red blood with a hint of green. Creeper, slime, has green blood. Bone meal flies from skeletons. Black particles fall out of the wither skeleton. Magma cube, blaze bleeds lava. Finally, Enderman has purple glowing blood. Mystic's biomes. Mystic's biomes aims to add more color to the Minecraft world. Currently, the mod adds three new biomes, with new plants. Item Frament This mod allows you to throw and splash potion of invisibility onto item frames to make them invisible. Throwing a water splash bot onto the already invisible item frame it will make it visible again. Villagers, far from home. This mod allows you to shift right click a level 3 villager while holding an emerald to get him to follow you. Shift right-click without holding an emerald and he will stop following. Reroll Enchants This mod adds a button to the vanilla enchanting table that re-rolls the potential enchantments for the cost of one lapis. Better Tag Tips Better Tag Tips is a mod that displays extra information in tooltips such as NVT and tags. Additionally, the mod also shows durability of tools and burn time of fuel items. All the links are in the description, have fun!